All right, so you've got your see-through here. So on these, this screen, this right here is going to be your basic two-dimensional scanning. This is going to be for your 3D scanning. If you just want to mark stuff out on the concrete, I'd start over here on the 2D scanning. Now, first off, what I like to do is go into the settings right here. You want to take this all the way up to eight scans a second, or eight scans a centimeter. That's going to give you the best uh, scanning or most scans per, per centimeter or inch. We've got an aspect ratio that will change how tight or wide your scan window is. I like 3 to 1 or 2 to 1. I'm going to stick with 3 to 1. Depth range, I'm going to put it at about 11 or 10 nanoseconds because we're not going to be looking that deep. So we're going to back out. We're going to go to start scan. It's going to bring up this window right here. So we have two screens, and you can either touch the screen to start or push this button right here. That's going to start, and we're going to start scanning. Now as we're scanning, you're going to see these two different screens. I actually, if you're just going to be marking rebar, I like to turn the deeper scan screen off. It's going to be this guy right over here. So we're going to turn that off. We're just going to get our screen here. Now, what we see on the screen is these guys right here. So if you can kind of make it out here, this is tight rebar. Every arc like that, the peak of every one of those arcs, or hyperbolas as we call it, is the top of the rebar. So if I were going to be marking this rebar, I would get right to the middle of that hyperbola right there. And then I'm going to mark on the front of the unit here. I'm going to back up to this guy. I'm going to mark on the front. I'm going to back up right to the center and mark on the front. And you can see I put some marks here on the ground. Now, what I could do is move down a little bit from those marks and keep going. And what I'm going to do then is go past that section. I'm going to back up right to the center. Mark again. Back up to the center of that hyperbola right there, which is the center of that rebar. I'm going to mark again. I'm going to back up to the center of that hyperbola right there and mark again. Now, a common practice in the industry is to use a square. So I put my square in the center of those two marks I made. And I'm going to draw that rebar. I know my rebar is right there. Here's my next two marks that I made. They line up. I'm going to mark that on the side of my square here. So one rebar, two rebars. I'm going to mark this last third rebar here as well. Now, because I'm holding my phone in one hand and doing this, it's not that accurate, but you kind of get the idea. So those were my vertical rebars that I scanned in this section right here. Now, I can run the see-through going this direction if I want to mark the rest of them. So I want to get past where I was scanning, so I'm going to push it past to get that red line past, and then I'm going to start again here. All right, so I'm going to scan. I'm going to go past my section that I'm scanning, and then I'm going to come back. So I'm going to mark a rebar right here in the front. Come down to the next rebar, right in the center of it. Boom. Mark it right here. You can see I'm doing my horizontal marks now. Down to my third rebar in this scan. Mark it here. Down to my fourth rebar in the scan. Mark it right there. Now I'm going to push this back across to get a fresh view of my screen. Come to the other side of my scan here. I'm going to go all the way down past. Same thing. And then I'm going to come back again. I'm going to mark this rebar right here. I'm going to mark the next one coming down, that guy right there, middle of that rebar right here, and then my last
last rebar right here. And same thing. I am gonna use my square, line those up. Rebar is not always straight, if you've ever noticed when it's getting laid. So that's why this looks a little different, right? So now that I've marked where my rebar is, I could say that right here maybe, this would be a safe to core spot or perhaps right here between these rebars would be a safe to core for a three inch spot. Something along those lines is kind of your, your average, uh, how to do a quick scan here and give some safe to core areas and draw the rebar on the ground. I just happen to have a red pin because that's what I had on me, but generally you draw rebars in black.